Oh. Oh, oh my. Man, this pipe sure has a mind of its own, huh? Dear me, yes. It's probably been 25 years since these old pipes have been replaced. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am not to hear dripping water anymore. My mornings will be so serene. I simply won't know what to do with myself. I can imagine. All right, I think this should do it. Oh, absolutely wonderful, Bob. You've done it again. No problem. I'm happy I was able to help. Oh, I better get that. Thank you so much, Bob. Your check is on the counter. You astound me. There he goes. I don't know what we'd do without him. Hiya, Bob. Are you here to fix the water heater? Hi, Lily. The, the what? The water heater. Well, uh, I'm not sure, but I am here to fix the water heater. That's what I said. The water heater. See? Because it sounds like I'm underwater. <laughs> oh, boy. Where'd you get this creative idea? I just thunk it up. Hello, Bob. Come on in. Thanks so much for stopping by so quickly. We are so ready to have warm water again, especially with all this talk of a winter freeze headed our way. I'm so excited for snow. <laughs> Lily, do you want to take Bob to the water heater? These crazy words. It's her new game. Yeah, right this way, Bob. <laughs> Only Lily. <laughs> OK, class. You all did so well on your last social studies project that I've decided to spice this next one up a little. So, I want you to think of one person who really inspires you and think about what it is about them that you admire. The assignment will be to write a 1,000 word essay on the impact this person has had on you. Aww. Or, you may create and upload a video presentation describing the same thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now there's my students. Get creative with this. I want you to really have fun with it. Your complete project is due the 25th. Class dismissed. So who are you guys going to do your project on? Oh, my mom for sure. She's literally Superwoman. Where does she keep the cape? In the basement. You know what I mean. She's amazing. Well, I'm doing mine on my Uncle Sal. He was a pro wrestler until he tore his ACL. And now he's a cop for the Forestwood Police Department. I'm totally interviewing Miss Shannon. At the library? Yeah, dude. She's always smiling and takes time to really invest in us. I think it'd be really cool to do my project on her. What about you, Jordan? I think I'm going to do mine on Bob. Bro, I love it. Bob is idea. seriously one of the coolest people in town. You want to interview your repairman? Seems pretty boring to me. Yes, I do, Emmett. Bob is incredible, and you'll agree after you see my project. Jordan, I'm so glad you stopped by. Here, can you hold this? What is this? It's a parenthetical adaptive radiator. A what? The thing that heats up the inside of a toaster. So, what have you been up to today? You know, just the usual rounds. It is frozen pipe season, though. Mm, always puts me in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> it's supposed to be below 20 degrees next week. I'm so ready for the first snow. Well, you're not the only one. It's hard to believe Christmas is only four days away. Say, have you finished those gifts for your sisters yet? Almost. The knitted sweater was a flop, so I decided to make Celeste a scarf instead. Oh, I think she'll really like that. Me too. So, I have a surprise for you. Ooh! I was going to wait to give this to you on Christmas, but with all this talk of snow, well, I figured you might get more use out of it now. No way! A skateboard ramp? You said that you wanted to be able to practice your tricks at home, so it seemed like the perfect thing to give you. Thank you, Bob. You are going to have to wait for your present, but I actually have a surprise for you, too. In school, we all have to interview somebody for this big project we're working on, and I'd really like to do mine on you. Oh. Well, how sweet. Okay, boss, far away. What would you like to know? Cool beans. Well, okay. Um, mm, ah. Okay, for starters, Bob, 
You're a person of influence in our town. How does it feel to be single-handedly responsible for all domestic repairs and major renovations within a 50-mile radius? Oh, I don't know uh, if that's true, but Cinnamon Hollow has been real good to me. Well, we're lucky to have you around. One thing you're known for is your kindness and generosity towards others. And the people are wondering, what drives you to give so much of yourself every day? Uh, oh, um, I, I suppose there's a whole lot of bad of the world. A and I guess I'd just like to be a positive influence on the people around me. What an honorable aspiration. I'd expect nothing less from the town's fix-it hero. Now, for our next question, what would you say is a defining moment in your life that shaped you into the person you are today? Um, well, I, I, I don't know. I'm... I'm not all that interesting of a person. Uh, mostly, I, I try to live a quiet life and not bother anyone. Uh, say, Jordan, uh, can I use that wrench? I, I really need to finish this toaster. Uh, okay, here. Thanks for letting me interview you. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Well, I guess I should get home. Nellie will have dinner ready soon. Okay, see you later. No. 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 I, I can't. I won't. I'm sorry. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. Hi, guys. Where are y'all headed? We're going on a run. Gotta get ready for that Christmas Day marathon. Oh yeah, but usually that marathon means we stay in our pajamas and binge watch Christmas movies, not work out. Oh, we're definitely still doing that. We just didn't want to feel lazy. So we're ringing in the holiday season with red faces full of cheer and sweatbands. What are you up to? I have to work on my school project. Bob wasn't super helpful when I interviewed him yesterday, so I'm just gonna Google him to see if I can gather some better info about him. He acted kind of funny. Almost like it made him feel weird to be asked so many questions. Huh, Bob's a pretty humble person. He probably just doesn't feel comfortable in the spotlight. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, laners, this jog isn't gonna jog itself. Let's kick this Christmas cheer into gear and get moving. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, look at that, so many results. I knew Bob was just being too humble to tell me about himself. Wait. What? I'm absolutely shocked. All these years I've trusted Bob and the whole time He's been an evil henchman. It's so sad. I loved Bob, and we're best friends with him. And finding out that kind of news... That's a great idea. I know. Ugh, no, really. Huh. Not cool. That's weird. So did. I can't believe it. Flora, sit. The desk would like to remind all shoppers that all animals that are not certified service animals are not entitled to enjoy the privileges of aforementioned service animals and therefore are not allowed to be inside the premises at any point in time. Scout, I am looking at you. Oh, yikes. Uh, go wait outside, girl. <laughs> Sorry! <sighs> It's so out of the blue, too. And if you hadn't done your project on Bob, you may never have found out the truth about him. Hey there, Flora. Ah. Look at you, good pup. I know, Scout, it's crazy. Hey. I honestly don't know what to think. If you'd asked me yesterday, I would have told you that I trusted Bob with total confidence. But Scout, Bob endangered an <gasps> entire clan of forest nymphs for selfish reasons. I can't trust him at all anymore. <gasps> oh no. I knew this would happen. I know. It's quite nice. 
surprise. I'm simply struck with this news about Bob. And to think he kept it hidden all these years seems sketch to me. Sketch? What's that? Yes, Granny Leona. My grandson Caleb taught it to me. It's what all the kids are saying these days. You know, he sketch, you sketch, me, she, we sketch. It means Bob is shady and double-minded. You know, I heard that after Bob nearly hurt those forest nymphs, he escaped prison using only a spoon and his criminal wits. I don't doubt it for a moment. I don't think he should stay around Cinnamon Hollow anymore. He's not safe. I just don't know. Even if the rumors are true, Bob seems to have completely changed since then. I can't imagine him hurting a fly. But Retha, in the grand scheme of things, Bob has fixed your kitchen sink once and retiled your bathroom floor. How much do you really know about him? I'm so bummed. Bob was going to teach our class how to change a tire and now I don't think they'll let him come. I'm just so sad. I really thought Bob was the coolest person ever. Yeah, Bob was a real pal. I looked up to him. I think we all did. Well, I suspected it all along. Emmett, you did not. I did so. It's the perfect maniacal plan. Bob's weaseling his way into our hearts of this town, only to use our naive trust to bring in some business to his repair shop. Probably so he can earn enough money to be able to skip town and keep the run from the police. No way, bro. That sounds bogus to me. As long as I've known him, Bob has been a real chill dude. But how dare he hurt those forest nymphs and then hide it? Hi, Bob! No, Lily. But, Mama, can I please ask Bob for a lollipop? Not today. Come on, let's go. What have I done? Hi, Jordan. Dinner will be ready in like 10 minutes. Oh, thanks, but I'm actually not hungry. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you don't mind me saying, isn't it kind of obvious? We're gonna need to fight. No. No! No! How's the mug coming? It's going good. How's the gingerbread house? Fine. You still planning on giving that to Bob? I guess so. I don't know, man. You know he's a bad guy. If you ask me, you should wise up and stop fraternizing with the enemy. Will you like seconds? Oh yes, please. The rice is fabulous today. Mr. Cho and I are working on developing a catchy new slogan to give this place an update. Do you like, we're walking on sunshine? Or, our food is to die for. Stop, egg drop, and spring roll. Oh, I don't know, Mrs. Cho. They're both really catchy. Maybe the second one? Hmm, thank you, Maggie. You know, Mr. Cho came up with that one, and surprisingly... Oh, excuse me, just a moment. Can you call Bob up? The stove is giving me trouble again. I don't think it's a good idea to ask that Robert to fix it. With all this talk around, I don't know if I trust him in the restaurant. Hmm. Well, I don't know who else I can call. There's bound to be a number in here. Well, a couple thousand. Yes, hello. I'm looking for someone to come out to fix my stove. Hey Jordan. Hi. Laura says hi. We had so much fun decorating the gingerbread houses today. Uh, have you moved since I left? I don't know. YouTube. Huh. Oh, I wanted to ask you. I keep hearing rumors about how Bob used to be some kind of evil henchman. Do you know anything about that? The whole town's gossiping about him. I know. But it's true, Anya. 
How do you know? Did you ask him about it? Well, no. I found an article about it online, and it had his mugshot and everything. Oh. And all of a sudden, I was so afraid of Bob that I told Scout about it because I needed someone to help me figure out what to do. And that was actually not a good idea at all because now the entire town is afraid of Bob and gossiping about him, and it's all my fault. You're totally right. I should have just gone and asked him about it myself. I was so afraid of not being able to trust him that I went and I broke his trust. Hmm, you know, it's not too late to make things right with him. You're right. Thanks, Anya. I'll be back later. Bob? Bob? Hey, Jordan. If you're looking for Bob, you ain't gonna find him. What? Well, about 20 minutes ago, he took off out of here and it looked like he was running from something. He had luggage. Maybe he was going to the train station. What? What do you mean? Well, he is Bob. There's no telling what he did this time. Oh, no. I gotta go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Sorry. Sorry, madam. Bob? 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 Jordan? Where are you going? I'm headed up north. The, the truth about my past got out. And, uh, I can't stay in Cinnamon Hollow anymore. Why not? Jordan, uh, before I moved here, I lived a totally different life. I was offered some money, and I only cared about myself. I did a lot of really wrong things that... Well, it ended up putting me in jail. And it was then I had some time to think about what I had done. I was disgusted with myself. That was years ago now, but I still carry around that guilt every day. Even on the good days, it's like a, a dark cloud that just always lingers. Like a lump in my throat that just won't go away. I'm so sorry for what I did to those nymphs. It was wrong of me. I'm really sorry that I've given you reason to distrust me. Bob, I'm sorry. I was the one who spread that information around town. That was your business and I should have asked you about it. At first I was really afraid because I just couldn't imagine you doing something like that. But you know, I'm probably more of a bad guy than you were going behind your back like I did. I'm so sorry. Mm. I forgive you though. And that's exactly how me and the town and even the forest nymphs that you hurt feel about you. I know they'll forgive you, Bob. I don't know if I can. not I've gone too far. Do you really think they'd want me back? I think everyone would be really sad if you didn't come home. All right, Chief. Let's go back. You're right, Lily. I am your friend. You're all my friends. But, Miss McLaren, you're right too. I haven't been totally honest with you all. The rumors you've been hearing about me are true. Before I moved here, I did live the life of a bad guy. And I was an evil henchman. Even though I, I did time for it, I'm, I'm still guilty of doing it. What I did was still wrong. and I'm sorry I ever went down that path. I'm sorry I gave you reason to doubt me. Thank you for being so upfront with us now, Bob. I've been thinking about this whole situation, and I really think Lily is right. Has Bob been anything but kind to any of you? I mean, he's been a loyal friend to Lily and our family all these years, and I see him put other people's needs before his own all the time. Well, I appreciate that, Miss Pitts, but I don't think I could ever do enough good things to right the wrongs I've committed. You're right, Bob, but neither could we. Look at us. Have none of you ever done something you've regretted? Bob, you are not alone. And I want you to know right now that I forgive you, regardless of anything you've done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, me too. Bob, we forgive you. Wait, huh? hmm? this is great, but... I mean, you guys are so kind, but I don't know how you can forgive me. Bob, we are not angry with you about your past. We've forgiven you. Do you think that perhaps your real problem is that you still need to accept forgiveness? Bob, 
I have to admit, I've treated you very poorly these past few days. I'm truly sorry. Well, we all have. Can you forgive us? Yeah. Well, of course I can. Bob? Yeah, I mean, I think I might have been wrong about you. You're actually a real solid bro. Look, I'm not saying I want to roast marshmallows over a campfire or race toboggans with you, but you are not who I thought you were. In a good way. Jordan, what a beautiful scarf! Do you like it? Do you love it? Yes, thank you. <gasps> I forgot to post my assignment! Whew. That was a close one. Jordan! <laughs> <laughs> about somebody that I look up to. But I decided to do it with my project on someone that we all look up to, Bob the Handyman. I admire him in a lot of ways, but the way that he lives with freedom and forgiveness makes me think that there could even be freedom and forgiveness for somebody like me too. Bob's story inspires me because his life is a walking, living example of what grace looks like. In some ways, we're all just like Bob, but in other ways, I can only hope to be just like him. Merry Christmas, Bob! Merry Christmas.